Hey everybody, it's me again. Well, who else would it be on this channel, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, um, got another unboxing video for you guys. Hopefully, you'll find it useful. I'm sure there's a couple of videos of this uh, particular model out on YouTube, but well, I'm gonna give my sense worth. And hopefully it's more valuable to you. <laughs> and well, as you can see, it's from the Academy. It's the Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker B. And I've been wanting this kit for a while. Been eyeing it on eBay, but I always put it off, figuring I'd find a better deal down the line. And uh, sure enough... Uh, like two days ago I went to uh, a toy store over here uh, nearby the Familia Center and yeah they had a uh, reduced markdown stuff and part of the the toy store called Vetus Vetus it's a German toy store and it was closed, but uh, they had signs 50% off from the model kits and, you know, 30% off of everything else. So I went to the main store, which was like two stores down. Asked if they could open it up, and I found this beauty in there. Uh, paid 25 euros for it, which comes about 30 bucks, 30 some dollars, depending on the rate. So it wasn't a big savings, but, I mean... I've seen this kit in e on eBay for about 32, 36 bucks, and that's not including shipping and handling. So, no, well, I guess I did make pretty good out of it, pretty good deal. So I'm happy that I waited. Uh, normally, I like the two-seater version better, but this one also is a really, really cool aircraft. And dare I say, it's a pretty sexy looking one for that. At that, the lines are just, of the shape of this aircraft is just outstanding. And of course this one comes with a photo edge detail de set. And let's get to the box art really quick. You can see some profile pictures and detail pictures of the model. So, yeah, it kind of, I don't know if you guys are into anime and you've seen the anime Yuki Kaze. It, it all somewhat reminds me of that, this aircraft. The lines are, the profile picture, the lines of the body, it almost looks like them. So maybe they got their ideas from that. Which, I think they did, I think there's a making on that in those cartoons, animes. But anyways get enough the subject here so as you can see it's 148 scale and there's the price that was usually going for and yeah 50 percent off i couldn't say no so go ahead and open up the box and get on with the show very sturdy box by the way i like the cover picture art cover art it's really nice <clears throat> so as you can see it's a pretty big aircraft my hand um, the top and bottom half comes to uh, packed together in this piece of carton I'll go ahead and show you the body for this and then I'll show you the bottom course fine panel lines as you can see uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit probably better so Using the lights glare on this kit, show you the detail. The wings. So. Let me 
me turn on the light on the camcorder to see if it's better that way. Okay, there we go. I think it's a little bit better. So there you can see the body, the top half of the fuselage. And the bottom over here. Let me go ahead and take this off. can see this. I mean, you can see all the panel lining on there. Pretty well detailed. Not so much going on the undercarriage here, but then again, I'm not familiar with this aircraft in real life, so I couldn't tell you exactly how complicated it looks underneath there. So there's the main train. Do a quick fit here and see how it's gonna work out with this. Doesn't look bad. The front here. So it seems like it'll fit pretty good. I love this aircraft. Okay. Let's go on to the clear parts. No scratches. Pretty well molded. I don't see any splash here. Of course, it has a molding line right down the middle here but I can just be sanded off and polished and takes care of that problem landing gear lights and navigation lights and stuff head up display no flash I've looked online and the one thing that's inaccurate is the flare here in the front windshield. It's supposed to be off to the side if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know how I'll deal with that. We'll see. <clears throat> I'm going to the rest of this stuff. Let me just go ahead and... Um, Get my uh, hobby knife out so I can open the plastic off for you guys. Okay. All right. So This one. Okay. 
so. We have the rear stabilizers. And it doesn't feel like it's raised rivet detail. Yeah, it's indented in there. Finely engraved panel lining and rivet detail as well. So, same thing for that one. Uh, you can see there, I'm going to have to use some filler for that. Right there. And of course, that's from the pegs there, the holes, locator pins. So, got the leading edge here, leading edge slats. Turn it around. There you go. Mold it separately. Some pylons for the weapons. Well detailed, you can see. It's pretty much what you'd expect from an academy kit. Professionalism. <laughs> Here we got the cockpit tub. Some nice detail there. Let's see if I can get closer with that. Okay, there we go. sun glare cover or whatever it's called for the cockpit then we got the vertical stabilizers as you can see oops going out of focus Hold on. Let me help out the camera. There we go. Okay. So. There you go. Air brake. Pretty plain Jane. Nothing there. And it's smooth, that's just the molding. So we got the stabilizer flaps, ailerons, whatever. Okay, we got two loose parts here. And I might need some sand in there. Then we get the photo edge parts. Which are basically for the intake. And for the cockpit. So cool. Okay, let me put these away and I'll get the next set of uh, Bruce.
we have the nose cone. Oh, focus. Let me back up the beginning. So, I've read online that this is not uh, shaped well, it's not the correct shape, but you know what? To me, it looks like a Sukhoi Su 27, so I'm not too worried about that. And it comes with rubber wheels. I think that's a cool addition. For me, anyways. We'll see how it stands out when I'm done. How I work with these. But I think it's a nice addition to the kit. They could have included regular plastic wheels too, though, as an option. Excuse me. So. Got bits and pieces here. Pedo tubes. Actuators. More small parts. I think that's the headrest for the seat. But as you can see, there's no real uh, um, flash on these pieces, considering how small they are. And that's a good thing. Oh yeah, here's the seat. Oh, where is it? I lost it. There we go. It's pretty basic. I don't know. I might have to order a aftermarket seat for this. But I'm not sure yet. So... Landing gear, actuators and stuff. There you go. That's the main one. Oh man, I'm all lost here. Hold on. Sorry guys. There we go. So it needs a little bit of work, but not too much. Just your standard sanding. Then the, I guess you call it mud flaps for the front landing gear for rough terrain. So there's that, and then. This screw it's pretty much all the weapons, missiles. Get those there. Now as far as how accurate these are, I really couldn't tell you guys. I'm off my game right now. I used to be really into aircraft and I could tell you a lot of things about them but I don't know nowadays it's not the same for me I've forgotten a lot of the terminology there you go so that's pretty much it for the parts well molded pretty decent size kit and let me just give you an overview of the instructions ok so here we have it these have been deleted because you have the photo etch parts for those to replace them 
there's a parts layout. Actually, let me just dismount the camera from the pod, tripod, and we'll do it like this. Okay, so there's one tree, unused parts, A19, E10, and then you just use the photo edge parts. And E10 would be somewhere down here. And those clear plastic, clear parts. So that would be the rear view mirrors. Okay, we have parts tree B. And D are the weapons. Okay, and of course down here they give you the colors you need and translations. And this is the cover for the instructions. Which is pretty much typical academy instructions. You got your paint in and decal page. There's two two versions of this. So I'm gonna give you that one. This has like the shark mouth and all that. But I don't think I'll be doing that one. Well, could have sworn there was a different one. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, it's only one one option here. So I might have to look on the aftermarket side of things for different uh, decals. Speaking of decals, this is what they are. but only on one side. Yeah, didn't notice that before. Oh, okay, the other one's just a tiger, uh, shark one. Okay. So, here's a basic instruction layout for those of you interested in looking at it. Pretty basic uh, cockpit interior. So, if you want to really make it stand out, you're gonna have to go the aftermarket way, get some resin parts for it, which is probably what I'd end up, what what I'll end up doing anyways. But we'll see. Not much for that. Just. Uh, Fans, machine gun there, the barrel, painting the cockpit tub, drilling the pins for the pylons, and then the tub. And then you just put it together. And there's some detail for the head up display. 
E9 and E7, I think those are the photo edge parts. So not too shabby. Of course the air intake. See those are the photo edge parts. And I guess you got two options for the fence under the air intake. I think it's open or closed. Not sure. Right there. So then there's that. Then we go to the main landing gear. Actually shows you a picture here of how it should look like. Of course, they didn't put the lights on there. <laughs> Photo edge parts. Oh, okay, that's for the landing gear door base. Landing gear bay doors or door bay. Last page of the instruct. Well, no, not the last page. Got one more side. Photo edge parts for that. And then here is for the weapons. And pile and assembly. Come to the last steps of the building assembly. There's a router and elevator. And here's where it all comes together. And of course, the painting guy. So, overall, this kit is pretty awesome looking. Sweet. It'll be a while before I build it though. I still got other things I want to finish off. But at least I know that. I have this now, so it's all good from here on out. It'll be there when I'm ready to put it together. And put the camera back on the pod. And put this guy away. There was also on that store um, a lot of F-18s and uh, F-14s. But the F-14 was uh, a bit too expensive for my taste. As far as uh, model airplanes go, I think they wanted like... Um, oh God, how much was it? Like... Close to 60 or maybe a little bit over 62, 68 euros, I think. And I mean, it was a 148 scale, too, but 
And of course that, that price was without the 50% off, but nah, I passed on that one. And the F-18s I already have the two-seater, which is the one I like. One-seaters, nah, not too much. So, that's it for the this kit. And I'll just go ahead and give you a little bit of an update on my uh, 737 from Southwest Airlines. So far, I mean, it's not much, but I already laid down a coat of uh, primer gray so I can see what I need to work on. And a little did a little bit of work here and there. You can see I had some minor corrections to make. And now it's ready for me to uh, start the first coat of the actual paints that I'm going to be painting it with. Did some scribing on it, but not too much. Basically, just the top there. Because all the other axes, hatches, I have uh, decals for. This is what I'm worried about. Uh, the windscreen. We'll see how it turns out. But I'll work it until I feel comfortable with it. And if it comes to worse, I'll just end up using a decal. So that's where I stand with this. Excuse me, with this guy. I still need to work on the um, engines. I got them all together, but I think I'm gonna scribe some panel lines on them so they don't look so plain Jane. So I'll keep you posted on this one as I come along with it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and till next time. Take care.